Okay, now we'll have a look at the LSAT Lawton Cow Feed Saw. One of our more popular saws. Affordable price and a, and a good cutting ability. Um, you've got a little bit different um, vice arrangement. Still the same basic principle. You have a nice easy adjustment there to um, hook your um, power feed in and out. Again, you've still got the chain adjustment for your different lengths to set your stop. Um, simple cross feed on your vice. And the vice arrangement, um, I should just take that off to show you here. Uh, the vice opens. When the machine comes, it comes with the gear oil for the gearbox. You just tip the amount of oil that's in there into that little hole on the top there. And if any runs out, it'll run out into the um, body of the machine. But that's the right amount of oil. So your vice will come, come back to there. So you've got that sort of depth of about six and a half inches deep there. So if we take the vice over here, we'll look at our depth there, we've got around about a little bit under eight inches, seven and three quarter inches there, but again you've still got that that width of length of cut there, you've got over your foot of cut there. Um, the other thing with the LS18 is that it is a variable speed power feed. So simply just take the belt cover on the side. Here. <clears throat> and just simply just change the belt from one to the other. So you've um, gives you the option of just picking the right speed for your particular stone. Again, we fit our own Australian motors onto these machines and test run them. And um, always recommend you use a quality blade. So they're a very good machine. We'll just close that up. Um, Freestanding machine. Should be bolted down by rights. Um, looking at about 700 millimetres wide. And you need your metre meter of depth again. So the LS18 is a good good size saw and not too expensive um, and we sell quite a lot of those. So after that we, that's 18 inch, we go up to um, 20 inch. So this is a Covington 20 inch machine, it's, um, it's again a, a little bit heavier build, you can see just how much bigger it is in structure, it's, it's 900 millimetres wide, um, you still the same sort of a might need 1100 deep for that machine. Much larger vice assembly. We always buy the large vice on those units. You can actually buy a smaller vice, uh, but it does give you the flexibility of um, using the bigger stones. So, quite a simple, simple vice arrangement. The, um, the vice can be locked into position <coughs> so that that um, thread won't come, come undone there and um, tightened like that. Same cross feed, quite a large adjustment in your cross feed area. Um, again, a heavy, heavy bronze drive and a cutting depth back to yeah, around about your, around about your 300 millimetres deep and about eight eight and a half inches or so of depth. And so, yeah, a very robust saw. If we, um, again, <laughs> variable speed on the power feed, so it's a mechanical drive on the power feed. This machine hasn't had the motor fitted yet, the motor fits up underneath here on that one. And, um, yeah, see if we change the belt speeds, the various speeds like that. Quite simple and, um, and fill proof. Just close it there, and again you have an inspection, which is a perspex um, inspection hatch. But you can just um, just have a peek in there to see how things are going. Um, yeah, very good big, big machine. Uh, you can you could run 18 inch wades in that also if you wished, um, but that's a 20 inch machine as it's set up. So we go from 20 to 24.
So this is a 24 inch Covington machine. Um, a very good saw, we've got several of these out with clubs around Australia and um, they're getting very good cuts out of them. Um, massive vice. The vice has got a, a false smaller section, um, so it, come, it comes with a false smaller section. I'll just take that out to show you the, the bigger area. So there's just two bolts hold that false piece in. So you just remove that, you come around here. <coughs> so you've got that whole, that whole depth of um, vice if you wish, or if you wish to clean up the smaller products, you just bolt that back in there and you use this surface. So if we come back around this other side. Again, the same, same, same heavy bronze adjustment there for your, for your vice. And your small feed there, so you get a bit of position to lock that up. <coughs> Again, your spanner for your, you use your bigger part of your spanner now for your, for your vice. And this spanner actually undoes the hub on the, on the blade. <coughs> Left hand thread, of course. So, again, um, variable speed power feed. Um, must use good oil to protect your fairly expensive blade. Uh, this machine's still boxed up, but as you can see, we'll just do a quick measure. I'm about a metre, metre wide, by about 1.3 metres deep. So, a very large machine, um, but um, again, got the inspection hood in the top. Um, now we also keep a 30 inch model of this, uh, which as you can imagine it's just a 30 inch model of this, <laughs> it's just bigger, and um, yeah, we sell several of those too, so um, we usually keep a 30 in stock, uh, there's one on the water now on its way to us, so, um, and we can actually get up to 36 inch if, any, if anyone really needs a 36 inch saw in a Covington machine, we don't, don't usually keep those in stock. Anyway, thanks. I hope that was um, somewhat useful to give you an idea just um, what machines look like. So